Hello my darlings, my cyber angels. This is just a short introduction because it saves me time with uh, every video. You can just skip the introduction but you might miss just some news. So welcome back and thank you for your loyalty, your likes and your shares. I love you, love you, love you all really much and I th I'm really grateful with all the thumbs up, the subscriptions and the likes and sharing that you do. The live sessions are so wonderful. I was talking to a cyber angel tonight and it's just magic to get to know you, sometimes personally and sometimes just for a chat or a making an appointment for an extensive reading. It's so nice to really hear your voices. Uh, yes, I'm redoing the introduction um, and uh, you know, I just love this work. I do it with all my love and a pure heart and I just want to reach as many people as I can and help them. Uh, so please, please share with family and friends and let's get more cyber angels joining our family, our cyber family. And please um, remember this is a general reading so if it doesn't resonate with you then look at your moon sign and your rising sign. There is also new reviews out uh, on the decks, the Pagan deck, the Avalonian deck, um, the uh, Lenormand's Cartomancy deck and TLC for your soul. That's this one. This is the Avalonian tarot deck and this is the Lenormand Cartomancy deck and the Pagan Way deck and they're beautiful and awesome. Some I did go into depth and detail in the Avalonian uh, uh, Oracle deck and the Pagan Way uh, Tarot deck uh, and I enjoyed doing it. It is a bit long but I think that if you uh, would like to have a deck it's always nice to see uh, what it looks like before you buy it and that is why I have extended it um, gone slowly uh, with each card so that you can view them and I've also uh, put out extensive information so that you really know what you are ordering it's always difficult to order from uh, internet or from a catalogue and that's why it is so important to do reviews I would love to share the knowledge and my luck and my happiness with the decks and my interpretations. So have a look at the reviews and also have a look at the energy video of the energy of Virgo as we are going into Virgo at the end of this week. As this is going to be your reading for the 17th to the 23rd of August 2020 and the energy of Virgo Virgo moon is already entering in on the 19th and the Sun on the 23rd that is just a little bit of news that is all very positive news and there's also relaxing news as I've made my first meditation video and it's meditation for the chakra uh, if you don't know how to meditate then sit quietly and contemplate and evaluate. Listen to this music. I've had beautiful reviews and feedbacks from different people not only on YouTube but on Facebook, Messenger, you name it. And so I advise you please go and have a look at the meditation video. And please remember like and share and subscribe and hit the bell on all. There is um, something quirky happening and I and Brenda discovered this because we weren't getting notified when we go live. She doesn't get notified when I go live and I don't get notified when she goes live. So we were mucking around on YouTube and we hit the bell on all again 
just to reset it and yes then you get a pop-up saying you will be notified so make sure that you are resetting or refreshing your little button the bell on all of your favorite channels so there we go some there's something shared is something aired i hope you will enjoy the video take care my darlings and have a beautiful week stay safe and be blessed hi aries this is shah from charlie's angel tarot and um this is your first card for the 17th and you have the weird the weird is the wheel of fortune this is represents also the cobweb represents the tree of life but number 10 is the wheel of fortune in traditional tarot and in this deck it's called weird it must be gaelic welsh gaelic because this is one of my pagan decks and these are the three stooges <laughs> uh, like the um the spirit the earth and the water the sea in the pagans those are the three elements that um, they are uh, work with okay so that's air earth and water now with the wheel of fortune in tarot that means what goes round comes round what goes up must come down this is also my karma card if you've done good then it will be returned to you in threefold like the three elements if you've done bad you will get it back in threefold as well if somebody's done you wrong or good they'll get the karma back threefold as well you might be moving home you might be going on holiday you might be traveling something is coming to full circle not only because of um, the tin but the wheel of fortune is like a wheel so you might be even getting a car that you had your eye on and you might be traveling with that car and you might be going on holiday something might also go up to the next level like a partnership or a relationship or your uh, career you might get a promotion so that is your first card to come in with it is something is coming to full circle means that there will be a new beginning the card that's clarifying it is a Lenormand card and you've got number 14 so you might not be in balance okay that's the number of the Lenormand then you can see the fox be careful of sly or slithery or smooth talkers and acting people okay <laughs> okay now you've got the nine of clubs the nine of clover in the cartomancy uh, bit right somebody dancing with uh, a weight and on the wheels you've got the clubs so that's the nine of ones you're coming to an end of a difficult time don't give up now you're just taking a rest and to uh, contemplate or meditate and evaluate what uh, you're going to do next what step are you going to take because where there is an ending there's a new beginning but the fox also warns for uh, uh, warns that there might be somebody around you that is is a wolf in sheep's clothing they're not honest and true remember a fox or a wolf sheds its fur but not its tricks now it this on the positive side this could be to do with your career and like i said um you might be moving up to a next level and that means a promotion so your employer might be having a secretly an eye on you whether you can meet deadlines cross your t's and dot your i's because the uh, fox has to be analytical or a wolf he has to sit there and wait and think how he's going to jump on his prey and then he jumps then he goes for it so make sure that you cross your t's and dot your i's on wednesday you have the seven of pentacles cultivation 
you are cultivating something. You've sown the seeds and it takes time to grow. You know that as well as I do. It could be that you've sown the seeds six weeks ago or six months ago and it's coming to fruition or seven months ago or seven weeks. Between six and seven weeks or and months, that's when harvest comes to fruition. Just look at the farmers around you. Okay. Um, for the Lenaman card, you have the mountain. And you've got the Eight of Clubs. And you've got the Eight of Clubs. You've got the mountain. So you might be making mountains out of molehills. You might be seeing uh, um, issues or problems where there aren't any. Okay? Don't do that. Just take it as it comes. You don't have to climb the mountain. You can walk the path. Now what I think is fascinating with these cards, I know it's a mountain, but if you look carefully, you've got, uh, let's have a look if I can do it from upside down. Uh, it, here in the shadows, hang on a minute, I can't see it. You see shadows, and this just looks like the wings of an angel. So know that the angels are with you, okay? just take your time and you might have to meet a deadline and you find it difficult so delegate ask people for help many hands make light work if you're traveling and you see it you see it as a problem then um, check your itinerary before you go so that you can avoid the problems okay so that is and the eight of clubs means sorry the eight of clubs is the eight of wands that means that you might be traveling and everything will happen all of a sudden lots of things are happening all at once you will get news cyber news as it's eight wands that fly through the air in the traditional tarot and you could get an email, a telephone call or a text message. So that's travel and news. Number 21 is um, 3. So that means be creative. You can do it. Don't give up. Okay. We always have to do take action in order to uh, make things come true like ideas into the material world now for the card on Friday you have the seven of swords deception so you might actually be uh, ha get information because you've got the eight of wands that somebody is deceiving you something you don't know about something or you might just find out by this messages these messages that are coming out that somebody has deceived you and that's why you feel uneasy because the seven of swords means that somebody has left or is about to leave and leaving two swords behind like he's trying he's like here he looks as if he's planning to leave but he's contemplating but he knows that he is deceiving if this isn't you and then it will be somebody else I think it is somebody else it looks to me that you are more of a worrying type in this reading because you've got the mountain and you're contemplating here as well and there was already a warning that somebody sly is around you so there is deception this week so forewarned is forearmed now you've got the six of hearts, the six of cups. Somebody might be coming back from the past and giving you a present. Now this is the star card and so you, that means that your wish or goal is coming true. Like I said, trying to put an idea or something into the physical world. That's coming true could be on Friday and you've got 16 which is 7 which means good luck so luck is on your side and remember I just saw the angel wings here so the angels do have your back 
and they have got your back because you've already been warned twice that there might be deception going on. At the end of the week, in the weekend, you have a rebirth. And rebirth, that is the um, judgment card. This is the judgment card. And, you know, you, these isn't, this is a new deck. And you've got the green man. You've got two sides, the feminine and the masculine. It looks like the Gemini. Okay, so perhaps there might be a Gemini around you that is coming round for the second time. Because judgment means rebirth, rebirth means a new beginning, like the birth. But it could also mean what goes round comes round, like the world here. We've got the sun here and we've got the world there. And this is my own interpretation. And like I say always, I see more things in cards than just the basic meaning and the pictures. So something might grow up again, start growing again, or sprouting new twigs, a new beginning. Okay? Perhaps somebody from some, with somebody from the past. So it's a new beginning or a second chance. Sorry. And on that card we have the nine of cl uh, hearts, the nine of cups. Again, like I said, somebody's coming back from the past. Now here, the rider means news, a visitor, or you might be going to visit. So it's a new beginning, number one. So like I said, somebody might be coming back from the past. Here you are, confirming it, that somebody could be coming back, bringing you a gift, but also coming back and trying to reconciliate with you. If that is your wish, it can happen. It's up to you. You're the one that will say yes or no. Now we're going on to the Avalonian uh, card. And we have the 13 moons, the silver wheel. It's called the silver wheel. Now, I don't know this deck because it's, um, of course, it's a pagan deck as well. But, um, uh, I don't know the uh, pagan meaning. So, I'll just have to grab the book and uh, rejoin you. Now, in, um, in the pagan uh, calendar, it is different because they are, they are there were 13 moon, uh, moons, there were 13 um, zodiac signs, but that was changed in uh, B, um, DC or AD after Christ uh, in the 400th century, okay? I'm not. I'm not all that clear, uh, clever. So I'm not going to try to be clever. But this is the silver wheel, and the card cycle is this cyclic journey. The thirteen moons of Avalon, goddess Arian Hog. Okay, the moon moon cycle, the total lunar eclipse. The herb is that you can see the flowers is Queen Anne's Lace and it's also known as the Wild Carrot but um, it is used for making potions and healing uh, potions like that because the witches and the Wiccans and the Pagans were prototypes to doctors because they knew the, um, uh, the importance of the herbs and their ingredients and this looks a lot like, uh, let me see, um, this helps a lot. It looks a lot like hemlock, hemlock plants, but it is poisonous. Now the only difference that you can see between these two plants is that hemlock is um, uh, is um, he uh, is he uh, is totally. Um, sleek and uh, smooth on the stem and with uh, Queen Anne it has is hairy so I'm going to read 
the definition of this um, card um, I'm, it is very extensive so I'm just going to give you a little bit of the quest I, I won't go into the myth and the divinary meaning but I'm just going to uh, give you the keywords cycles bound and rebound growth change and cosmolo cosmology and patterns and time so it's something that returns it is a little bit like the judgment car uh, card it is also rebirth this and rebound and change patterns and time the card says rebirth so that is great a new beginning every cycle of the moon has a new beginning now the cycle loon nature of Arian Bahog is revealed by her very name which means silver moon as she is thought to be a goddess of time and fate it is especially powerful to connect with her energy during times of total lunar eclipse where the moon appears to move through all the, its phases in one night although in truth the moon itself remains unchanged the fourth branch of the Magnoli tells the story of Aaron Hod and although like the moon shifts in light and shadow as protected up upon her being Arian begins to end the tale in much the same way she is an independent woman in charge of her own life and destiny as well as the ruler of her own domain similarly the lessons of Arian hog reveal her as the great teacher who puts challenges in our path in order to help us to re recognize the patterns of our lives so in other words we it's like a moon cycle you come back and you get a second chance you're bounded to the moon you're bounded to the energy of the moon it might make you more sensitive there are greater forces at work for you to bring you this new beginning or this second chance now if you are a meditator or a com contemplator then this is the affirmation that you can use I recognize the wisdom of the universe in action within me and around me and I strive to allow it to work through me I am a part of the greater whole and seek to understand my place in the cosmic pattern I trust the tides of my own becoming and surrender myself to the natural cycle of my spiritual transformation so you are transforming you are in a transformational period because you've got a second chance or a new beginning okay beautiful you are rebirthing this is an end of a cycle an end of a you can see it as a moon cycle and this is an end and a new beginning wow absolutely gorgeous and then we've got TLC for the soul curious rest whether it's the windiest of days or the quietest of days a little dose of curiosity will go a long way to brighten it up lean inward and inquire within your heart if some insights you seem to have suppressed cannot be rekindled give a second chance a rebirth it's only being safety safely stored away and like if somebody's coming back from the past perhaps reconciliation so perhaps you might want to wake up that longing or loving that you had for that person in the first place so that now that you can and are receptive it can be revealed in light of day's awareness there will be a subtle recognition 
an inkling, an intuitive understanding of having been hurt, even if your mind is still in doubt. Say a quick hello to your wise self, then, and have a conversation about life's most recent happenings. Do also relinquish that arduous and useless undertaking of trying to fix it, or figure it out. Just be there in daylights and delights. Now, like I said, if somebody's coming back from the past, there is a chance for a second start, but it's up to you. So let your true feelings come. That's what this card is saying. You have hidden your emotions, your feelings. Now you can let them out, out think about it, and remember what the past was like. Do you want to go back to the past? Do you want to go back to the same experience? Communicate clearly is what the angels are saying. Let them know what your boundaries are. Let them know what you want. And like I said, you. Uh, I love it when cards come together, and they always do. They can shed their f and they shed their fur, but they'll never change their streaks. So if there is somebody that you really dearly love from the past and for some reason or rather you broke off and they're coming back because it's in the cards, they can be coming back. I'm not saying they are. I said that they can be coming back and asking for your forgiveness. Just remember, take some curious rest before you give them a definite answer. A fox sheds his fur, but not his streaks. Okay. I wish you lots of luck. You do have luck, as you have 16, number 7, and you've got a 7 here, so you've got a 7-7, seven, seven, and you've got three sevens. Now go and have a look on Google what three sevens means, but you've got three times luck. Okay. Beautiful. So take care and have a blessed week. Please share and like and I hope you stay safe and if you're on holiday have a fantastic time. Ciao ciao.